Dinner was over. Well, I guess I was very wrong. Here it comes again. As you can see, it's snowing. It's actually slowing down a little bit. When I just went inside to grab you guys, um, it was like it's going, coming down so fast. And uh, by the way, um, I am filming on my GoPro, so the filming is going to be a little different. And sorry about the snow that's probably getting all over the lens and like the water. Um, but uh, I was hoping we were done with this because I mean, right now, even if we get two, three inches of snow, I'm not even going to plow because it's just going to make the driveway disgusting. And it's already accumulating up, and we're supposed to snow through the night and get like two inches. So, if we get two inches, I probably will not end up plowing because, uh, because of, uh, this, uh, mud and crap here. And see, I was just walking right here, and this is my lawn usually, and I just sunk right into it. It's so, like, bad right there. And then I was actually gonna make a video not that long ago, um, and I was gonna take the four wheelers plow off and maybe try to get the lawn mower out uh, from under there because um, I was going to do a while ago but then it, the battery ended up being dead in the lawn mower so uh, yeah it's just going to have to stay here for a while longer I guess this snow shouldn't stay for too long um, and I should be able to get the lawn mower out and get the four wheelers plow off um, <clears throat> this can probably go away sometime soon into the shed, and probably gonna have to move this trailer out and get this junk out of it. I shed it in here so it didn't get snowed in again if I needed it, and I have my lawnmower out there because I don't, I didn't need it, and, um, now I'm probably gonna need it soon enough, um, I'm gonna need the lawnmower, and, actually I'll probably need it soon, I'll probably need the lawnmower and the trailer soon because I gotta do spring cleanup up at my neighbors and probably around here uh i gotta get rid of those um other trees that are up here these little trees fell in the first snowstorm when it was really wet and heavy snow it was so weird like these seemed like pretty healthy good trees and now they're all like and they just all fell over um and don't mind all the dog dog poop in here yeah it's pretty bad that's where we let my dog poop this year because uh I guess he usually poops in there. Actually, I guess he usually poops over there on that hill. Um, but we didn't have him pooping over there this year. He's pooping over here. Uh, so yeah. Um, see, the snow's starting to pick it back up again. Uh, you guys look like you're getting pretty wet. Uh, there, a little bit cleaner. It's not gonna be like that for long. Uh, so yeah, it's snowing again here. Not really happy about that. Uh, just starting to like get ready for the spring and starting to like having no snow um i don't really enjoy the mud that much though because like we've already had it for like two or three weeks and i'm already getting bored of it and sorry if there's a bunch of like pinging and stuff because that's probably the snow falling onto my camera because it's like getting all over the top and i'm i'm glad i'm filming with my gopro now because uh if i wasn't my whole top of my camera would be covered in or uh, my whole camera would be covered in snow and probably get ruined but whatever so i'm filming with this gopro which is hopefully waterproof even though this is a nice one it's the gopro hero session i think it is and it doesn't have a waterproof case it's just the camera's always waterproof but maybe in the future i do want to get like a newer gopro that also has a um case for it and it uh also um has like the screen on the back so I could use that more for my filming and then just use my other bigger camera for whenever I need it or whatever um but all the ice is off the brook down there uh actually it was just down here with my dog and then it was like hailing out for a while and then it started doing this and now it's snowing uh so yeah Everything's already starting to get a layer of snow, so I mean if it keeps snowing like this all through the night Then we're probably going to end up getting probably like Two inches of snow or something at least if it, Well, if it snows like this all through the night, we're gonna probably have like four or five inches um But see look at this 
these flowers were already starting to sprout up, but now they're getting snowed on. Um, but yeah, so this is how it's going. I also trimmed the tree out front, uh, got the branches off of it because they were dangling in our driveway, and then we would hit them with our car and camper when we backed it in, or truck or whatever. Um, so yeah, that's where all that wood came from, and well, actually, all that wood right there from the pile was from uh, out front when they cut down my trees. I have a video about that on my channel. And uh, all that brush is from uh, the tree I trimmed out front from the branches that were dangling in our driveway. I can't wait to bring all this scrap metal here to the scrap yard. Um, it's, some of it's starting to get unfrozen. Uh, so yeah, that should be nice. And then I gotta get the rototiller out, hopefully sometime. Uh, the next couple of weeks I can get that out, but there's still quite a bit of snow right here. And I still gotta get my John Deere back from my grandparents. I was gonna do that this weekend, but I never did. Um, but, yeah. Uh, I actually did too. I also went over to, over here on my other property, and I was digging up where, like, the roots were and crap. From the, uh... Uh, where I'm gonna put my garden like just roots and I was taking out a rock I took out a big decent sized big rock and then I got a lot of the roots out um, So I should be able to rototill it now and be fine uh, While I'm rototilling it arm It's already covered in snow just from being outside for that little while and this arm's got water all over it um from just being outside for that little while and quite a bit of it had melted off because uh, when I was wiping off the lens of my camera uh, but yeah and so this isn't going to be a long video just kind of an update for you guys because uh, it started snowing out and I didn't really uh, I wasn't really doing much so I figured I'd make a little video for you guys um, <clears throat> but the only thing is well the thing is the reason why I haven't been uploading for this little while, oh well, my hat's covered in snow too, uh, the reason why I haven't been uploading for this little while, um, is because, uh, I haven't had anything to upload for you guys, I haven't really had any videos to make, or, um, I didn't have any to post for you guys, uh, I was doing pretty good posting every other day for a little while, for like a week or two, and then I stopped doing that, and then, because it was just getting hard and the videos I was posting were only getting like a little over 10 views so it's not very it's not really worth my time to do that to not get any views when I'm not even doing because like I'm not even uh, doing anything in the video so I mean I see why I'm only getting that little amount of views but I don't really have anything to do right now because it's mud season no plowing no mowing uh, so there's really nothing to do right now um hopefully I'll be making a video soon about the scrap metal like I said and getting the plow off and the lawnmower out. So, I mean, I have some video ideas. I just can't do them quite yet. And getting the rototiller on as well, also. And getting my John Deere here. And from my grandparents. And getting the plow off that. And getting the rototiller on that. And putting... And starting... Because, like, once I get that thing back here, I want to uh, start to rototill, like, right when I get it back here. Because the ground was already soft enough. I hope it doesn't get too cold tonight. And... Um, like freeze up. Uh, so yeah, I hope it doesn't get too cold. So it shouldn't. The grounds, the frost is already actually almost pretty gone. Um, but it's really muddy around here, so that's not that enjoyable. But since it's a new garden, I do want to rototill it a few times. Um, and we are gonna get some manure from the from like Home Depot or something. Some of the bags and mix that, and then I'll rototill that, and then we'll probably end up planting. Uh, but I still have a while till planting, it's only April, and it's not, I won't plant till like at least May or uh, June. Um, and the plants are doing good downstairs, if you guys were, if any of you guys were wondering, they are doing good. Um, they're not very big yet, but they'll get there soon enough. Um, I've just been watering them, and I've been trying new ways to water them and stuff, and, uh, yeah. So, that's how that's working. Uh, Max is still doing good. He's sitting here by the heater, drying off. Um, because he was pretty wet. And then, Chloe's just sitting over here. Uh, just looking mad at me, I guess. I don't know. Like she always is. She always looks really mad. Um, 
but I can't really help that. She's just a cat, and she's like purring right now. Yeah, she's purring right now, but uh, she just doesn't really always look that happy. Um, but yes, she's just eating food, and she's a very messy eater. Um, so that's kind of annoying. But most of the time, she cleans it up off the thing, anyways. Oh yeah, and also while I was um outside. I was just having some fun doing random crap and I put Max in my wagon and he's looking at what's in my hand. Uh but I put him in my little green wagon that's out here. Um right up there by that tree. I put him in that thing and I was pulling him around and then uh we were over by my bridge. Here I'll, I'll go outside and show you guys. Kinda loud, but um so, we were over here, and we were crossing the bridge, and, uh, um, we crossed the bridge, and then I got over here, and he wanted to get out, so I let him jump out, and then I had the wagon facing backwards, and it's got, like, the pivot on the front, and I was sitting there just backing the trailer up, and I was just sitting there backing it up, and then Max is over here, and I looked behind me, and I was looking over this way, and I just still had the thing backing up, and then it went down, and I felt something, and I looked forward, and it fell off this side. And then I wasn't really thinking that well. And I just yanked the thing, and it went right over the edge and fell down in. But luckily, Max wasn't in there. Um, and it fell right on the side down there. And then I got the thing tipped over, and I pulled it up over this bank right here. Pulled it up this bank. And then I looked at, and I looked down, and I saw my gate sitting down there. And I, I knew that this piece that holds the gate on was already getting pretty braille, and... Uh, um, fragile because uh, it was like gotten it had gotten bent and it was rusty and then I looked at I looked down and the gate was sitting on the ground and then this thing was sitting in the um and then this thing was hooked onto my wagon still and I was like well there goes my gate and then this pin you could take the sides off and this pin was holding that so I just took this off too so that didn't fall off but the gate still stays on um but I know I was like walking over this and I was walking extremely slow because uh, just before this, this whole bridge was extremely slippery and um, it, now that it's got snow on I figured it'd be really slipperier but um, it's actually really like it's actually grippier than it was before uh, but yeah so this will probably be the end of the video guys um, it's snowing out we already almost have like like probably a half a centimeter here. There's already quite a bit of a layer. Um, so yeah, we already have this snow here. So I will see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And turn your post notifications on and share the video with your friends. And I will see you on the next video, guys. And I hope you enjoyed this video.